Bikers Beware. Today on Cruise Control, we're devoting time to the uh, bikers in our midst. Uh, they're an endangered bunch. Uh, just look at the statistics. Well, we'll show you them as well. In the U.S., authorities say motorcyclists are 35 times more likely to die in an accident than those in cars. Malaysia saw more than 120,000 accidents in a year. Of these, more than 60% ended in death or severe injury. And in Singapore, 32 bikers died in the first four months of this year alone. Now, these stats are the reason why NTUC Income, one of the country's leading insurers, offers a free defensive riding course to its motorcycle insurance policyholders. The cruise control team decided to check it out. Hello and welcome to Cruise Control. As you can see from my fancy get up, we're all geared up for a day of riding. Now I just have to wait for my motoring partner, Julian. Hey man, cool bike, let's go riding. Go riding? I thought you were going for the beach. You had to wear the proper gear. What's wrong with this? Uh, everything. Go get dressed, man. Okay. <laughs> the first thing to know about safe riding is wearing the proper gear. And it looks like a lot, but it'll help you save your skin literally. You need a proper helmet, gloves, preferably made of leather, a mesh jacket, for Singapore's hot weather, Kevlar jeans, and boots. And now we're here with Mr. Jonathan Tang, who's the chief instructor down here at BBDC. Jonathan, tell us what's the first thing we should know about bike safety? Okay, before we start riding off, we always do a safety check first on the machine. You can get our motors running, we first got to check our lights. Headlights, taillights and signal lights, they're our way of communicating when we're on the road. We also have to check our brakes and tyres to see that they're both in good working condition. Alright Jonathan, now that we've done our pre-ride check, what's the next step? Next, I need to check your riding posture. Riding posture is essential. Shoulders need to be relaxed, arms bent to help ensure control of the bike. Your body should be centred on the seat with your thighs gripping the fuel tank. That helps when you're taking corners and braking. Safety checks done and posture sorted. Coach Jonathan let us practice the three postures of turning. The most common posture is leaning with the bike, where the rider's whole body follows the bike into the turn, offering better control. The second is leaning in, when the turn is made while the bike is upright, but the body moves inwards to help make the turn. And lastly, leaning out is when the body moves in the opposite direction of the bike, stabilizing the rider and helping to turn the bike in sharper turns. Okay, hey Jonathan, we're done with cornering. What is next in store for us? We'll move to the next exercise. That will be braking exercise. Okay, we're here at the emergency brake station. Let's see how Julian does. Not the best first effort from Julian, you know, hitting the rear brake more than the front, which could actually cause skidding. Let's give him some remedial and see how he does again. Much better the second time round, showing better braking technique. But to find out the consequences of bad braking, we were led off to the school's riding simulator. Now out there on real motorcycles, there's no telling what sort of damage we can do. So to save us from ourselves, we've headed indoors and Darren is now on a simulator. Now it looks like Darren is doing his MotoGP rider thing behind me. Jonathan, what exactly is he doing? He's doing the braking exercise. Right, so he has to get up to 90 and jam on the brakes. Correct, the correct landing of braking. Whoa, I'm expecting him to fall down. But Darren was in for trouble at the next challenge. The simulator had him follow the bane of all motorcyclists, a heavy vehicle. And all he had to do was stop and avoid an accident. Oh, Darren, you had so much going for you. Rest in peace, buddy. But at least here, Darren's got a second life. And this time he made sure not to tailgate, keeping at least two seconds behind the truck. That's a life-saving tip for Darren and for all riders out there. Okay, so far so good for Darren, but I've got a surprise for him. These goggles say fatal vision. I like the sound of that. Now, they simulate what it's like when Darren has had a six pack of beer. So let's see how he gets on with these, shall we? Oh, he beat the lights. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just run a red light now. Yeah. 
in the yeah. real world. He would get several points and well, a big fine from the police. And it's all ended in tears for our Darren, which just goes to show that beer goggles and riding don't mix. Okay, well it does seem like a safe riding course like yeah. this one can teach you that it's better to make your mistakes here in the classroom yeah. instead of out on the real road. Oh definitely, and it's a lot less painful as well.